everybody to watch here. Jake's going to show us his protraction and retraction. So Jake, if you actually can just go into protraction for me. So if serratus anterior is a protractor, what position are we in here? What just happened to these muscle fibers? They shortened, okay? Jake, can you come into retraction? Nice. What position is serratus in? It's in a long position. Notice his scapula here. If he's in a neutral position and his scapula were winging, let's say, let's say we were doing an assessment on him and we were checking to see his scapular thoracic articulation and he had a winged scapula, what's up with serratus at that point? What's, it, what's its deal? What's it doing? It's going to be sort of probably stuck in a long position, right? We want to check its ability to enter its concentric and eccentric phases. Do you think that a, a shoulder problem, a scapular thoracic disarticulation, if you will, do you think that that would ever precede core instability? You gotta check that first, right? Especially if it's on both sides. If both of Jake's scapulas were winging, we gotta check out and see what his core is doing. We gotta see what kind of force transfer he's receiving from his abdomen. Mm -hmm.